Hey Gary, uh, I'm going to have to do a proper video one of these times, uh, but um, I do want to chime in. Um, Frank Dukes tells a story where he supposedly choked out Zane Frazier. Um, and I know I've told this story in text, but uh, I, I wanted to shoot a video. This is a quick one. I'm going to do a more in-depth video. Frank Dukes said that Zane Frazier showed up with four guys to Del Weston's event in Century City. Well, I was there with Frank Trejo and two other guys. We were there to meet Zane. So yeah, there were four of us. Frank Dukes said that he kicked all our asses and uh, choked out Zane. Well, we never got within 40 feet of Mr. Bloodsport, so he was full of shit. I would have remembered getting my ass kicked by the legendary Frank Dukes. And the notion that Frank Dukes would have lasted two seconds with Frank Trejo is absolutely absurd. Zane... Uh, manhandled Frank Dukes. And Dukes was screaming and yelling for security and whatnot. So, honestly, Zane was trying to get out of there. But Zane did not get choked out by Frank Dukes. Um, he was not arrested. Uh, according to Dukes. Dukes said he choked him out and the police took him away. No. And um, as far as Frank Dukes and Don Wilson, um, you can look all over YouTube and find Don Wilson videos of Don Wilson doing phenomenal fighting. Absolutely. Uh, there. Uh, you won't find better video of uh, a kickboxer, period. And you can't find any video of Frank Dukes doing his Mr. Bloodsport crap. And I met Don Wilson when I was, I, I believe I was in Los Angeles for less than a week. One of the nicest guys I ever met. And I've met him a few times since. And he's a true class act, honorable, and uh, there's no comparison between Frank Dukes and Don Wilson. Frank Dukes is a liar. How do I know? Because he said he kicked my ass, being one of the guys that was there with Zane, and he never got within 40 feet of me.